logical designing so and the switching theory and logical designing the first main concept which we come across is the number systems whenever the word number systems comes into your mind then the first number system which strikes our mind is the decimal number system so decimal number system why the name decimal is given means uh, it is having the total number 0 to 9 as we are familiar with our decimal number systems is there how to define a number system we need to concentrate on how to define a number system so whenever we talk about a number system we simply remember that the number system is a basic for counting the various items so when we are thinking that the number system is a basic for counting the different items uh, we need to have a proper definition to define a number system how to define a number system now so these number systems before these are identified as digits they are actually the symbols so now a number system is defined as ordered set of symbols known as digits which perform arithmetical calculations with well defined rules this is how we are going to define our number systems so based on the <coughs> different applications my number systems which are commonly used uh, is the decimal number system binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system so each and every every number system is having a base so for example if you take the decimal number system the base is 10 and for a binary number system the base is 2 and for your octal number system the base is 8 hexadecimal number system the base is 16 so a decimal number system why the base is given as 10 because the total number of digits which are present in that particular number system is 10 so that's why we are given the base of that number system as 10 and whereas coming to the binary number system the base is 2 so the total number of digits which are present in that particular number system are 2 and coming to octal the base is 8 uh, total number of digits which are present in that system are 0 to 7 the total number is 8 and coming to hexadecimal number system uh, the base is 16 so the numbers which are present in this system are 0 to 9 and a to f total 16 numbers are present uh, alphabets 10 alphabets uh, sorry 5 alphabets and 10 digits that's why it is called as hexadecimal uh, number system okay used by this decimal number system is generally used by human beings for you doing the arithmetical calculations and it is not used by the computers whereas binary number system is the only number system which is used by your computers of course even the hexadecimal and octal number systems are used as the system internal conversions but we are not going to uh, see physically uh, physically that's why i have not said that this is not used by the humans nor the computers so quantities of counting now if you see a decimal number as i said 0 to 9 are the numbers and binary numbers what is the conversion process which is having from one to other so if you observe here from 0 to 6 and in octal 0 to 7 decimal 0 to 7 and decimal uh, hexadecimal 0 to 7 these three number systems are having the same numbers and the binary number system as it is having only two numbers which are common with all other number systems the remaining number starts with the combination of 0 and 1 if you see like this we have so many combinations from 8 to 15 if you see the combinations of zeros and ones are giving the equivalent number in other number systems like octal even the hexadecimal also now if you see here 16 to 23 again the combinations and etc etc if you are going on framing like this you will be getting more and more numbers now let us see how you got previously all those numbers once that is only uh, possible because of the conversions among these pieces so how you are going to do the conversions means uh, these are the possibilities whatever you are having for your the conversions of your number systems one is the decimal octal hexa and binary how you can convert a number from decimal to binary or binary to decimal there is a possibility of octal to decimal and decimal to binary and uh, octal to hexa hexa to binary and binary to octal octal to binary and decimal to hexa hexa to decimal whence there are all possibilities of converting one number to the other number system 
let us see first one the decimal to binary so what is the principle we are following when i want to convert a number in decimal number system to the binary number system let us see now the technique whatever we are using is dividing by 2 means the base of the number system binary number system 2 and keeping track of the reminders and what are the first reminder you are getting that we are calling it as lsb and the second reminder is 1 or 0 whatever it is etc etc the last reminder whatever you are getting that is called as the msb bit so whenever i want to convert convert a decimal number to the binary number what i do is dividing by 2 that is base of that particular number system which i want to convert and keep track of the reminders now let us take one example that is 125 base 10 if i want to convert to base 2 that is binary so first division of 125 when i do the first division i am getting it 62 times with a remainder as 1 so this remainder 1 will become the lsb and uh, again further if i divide the 62 by 2 again i am getting 31 and the remainder is 0 and this track of continuous division will give a set of reminders so now from if you see from top to bottom there are 1 0 1 1 double 1 0 so if you want to convert what are the 125 you are having if you want to express that 125 in terms of your binary number now this is what you are going to get and if you observe here this one is your lsb as i said in the technique and this one will be the msb why we are ignoring this one means uh, the zero which is there on the left side of your number the positive integer part uh, it is not having any value so the first one whatever you shown here that will become the lsb and the last one will become the msb now let us see the decimal to hexadecimal conversion so how we have used the, the conversion from decimal to binary the same thing we are going to use for decimal to hexadecimal here we are going to divide uh, the technique what we are going to use is we are going to divide uh, the given number with a base 16 to get the hexadecimal number now see here 1 2 3 4 1234 base 10 i want to convert it to 16 so i am dividing it by 16 and keep tracking of your reminders again 16 if you divide the 77 with 16 you are getting 4 and reminder is 13 but according to my hexadecimal number system the 13 is nothing but d equivalent to d and so the answer whatever we are going to get here is that is 4 d 2 base 16 4 d 2 base 16 because the 0 is ignored because as it is in the msb part of your integer so the value of uh, if you are placing a 0 in the msb part of an integer then the 0 is having no value so next one is decimal to octal the same principle so dividing by 8 and keep tracking of the reminders now see the example 1234 base 10 if you observe if i want to convert to octal again i am dividing by 8 and keep tracking of the reminders yes the first one will become the lsb and the last one will become the msb now the reverse process like octal to decimal whenever i want to convert a number from my binary to decimal or hexadecimal to decimal or octal to decimal so what is happening here is I am multiplying each and every bit by the position of your right where and is the weight of that bit means suppose if have I uh, will think I uh, will take an example the weight of that position of the bit starts from 0 on the right hand side add to the result so we will take an example now 427 is sorry 724 base 8 is the number which I want to convert to the decimal number so my 4 is in the units place 2 is in the tens and 7 is in the hundreds place so that's why 4 into 8 power 0 and 2 into 8 power 1 and 7 into 8 power 2 so by adding the results you will be getting a number in the decimal number system means what i am doing here simply multiplying the positional values to the concerned numbers that is what uh, 
uh, we are doing here to convert an octal number system to the decimal number system. Now, even the hexadecimal number system will play the same role multiplying by the positional values with the powers of 16 uh, that will give the hexadecimal to the decimal number system conversion. Let us take A, B, C, B 16. Now, C is in units place, B in tens place and uh, C is in the hundreds place. So, C into 16 power 0, B into 16 power 11. A 1 and a into a into 16 power 2. So, 12 into 1 and this b is equivalent to 11 into 16 and a is 10 into 256. The total answer is 207, 2748 b is 10. Now, binary to decimal as the base of my binary number is 2. So, now I will be multiplying with the positions of 2 to get the result. So, this is the number binary number. So, 1 into 2 power 0, 1 into 2 power 1, so on. The number from your LSB to MSB I am doing and finally, if I add, I am getting the number as 43 base 10. So, octal to binary next one is. So, whenever I want to convert a number from my octal to binary, simply I do is expressing each and every digit of octal number in 3 bit binary. Why I am representing a number in 3 bit means uh, the maximum number in the octal number system is 7 that can be expressed with the 3 bits that is triple 1. So, it is very easy to express uh, a number of your octal number system in 3 bit binary. So, we will see an example now 705 BC 8 want to convert into uh, base 2. So, what I am doing here is simply 5 I am expressing as 101, 0 as triple 0, 7 as triple 1 which are the equivalent numbers in the binary number system. So, I am expressing each and every digit in 3 bit binary. So, the answer is triple 1, triple 0, 101. Next, hexadecimal to binary. Here, the hexadecimal, the maximum number f can be expressed in 4 bit binary. That is why we are going to use to convert an hexadecimal to binary, each and every digit is expressed in 4 bit equivalent binary number. So, here 1 0 a f base 16 can be expressed like this f as double 1 double 1 and a as 1 0 1 0 0 as to double 0 double 0 1 as triple 0 1 and finally, my answer in your binary number system is when I convert 1 0 a f of b 16 as you are getting as shown below. Now, binary to octal the reverse process. The reverse process is nothing but uh, I am going to group uh, 3 3 bits uh, 3 3 bits starting from the right and uh, that will convert to octal digit. So, I am taking an example here this is a binary number if I want to convert to octal number I need to go with the reverse process here the first 3 digits are placed here next 3 digits are placed here and the next 3 are placed here and finally, you are left over with 1. Now, as the 3 digits which in your decimal number system or octal number system is sorry octal number system triple 1 is equals to 7, 0 1 0 is equals to 2, 0 double 1 is 3 and 1 it is not expressed directly you can add 2 more zeros here to make a group of 3. Why? Because in an integer part if I am going to add 2 more zeros